just in case, just in case, Gary asks the question now. You'd expect King to get this. Always seems to go high with the single 20. Too high with tops. Oh, that time! What a way! What a way from the match! Could we have a night where the defending champion and the runner-up from last year go out of the competition on the same night? Two world champions are next as well, by the way. One of them has to go out. To state the obvious. That's a morbid way of looking at it. One of them is <laughs> going to go on. <laughs> yeah, my glass is always half empty. Yours is always half full. <laughs> there you go. Van Gerwen and Durrant coming next. Don't miss that. You probably thought that by tuning in at this stage, the game would be well underway. But uh, it'd be worth staying up for, that's for sure. And King not waiting for his own throw. King is absolutely attacking the throw of Gary Anderson here. He's trying to get a 12-dart leg to finish this match. He is definitely hitting the gas, as we say. Brilliant, brilliant. It's too hot to sleep anyway in this weather, so just stay up and watch the darts. Simple as that. An 11-dart leg to win this? Absolutely. Here we go, huge moment. Treble 16, leaves double 12 for the match. Mervyn King has put out the defending champion. What a night here at Blackpool. Last year's runner-up is out. The reigning champion is out. Mervyn King goes through to the quarterfinals here of the world match play. And still to come, we have the world champion, Michael Van Gerwen. And the BDO World Champion, Glenn Durrant, going head-to-head -head in our final game of the night. But it's congratulations to the King. We bow down to Mervyn King.